Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of God Guns and Common Sense. I'm here with my mother, who has been consistently going to these personal self-defense classes with a friend of hers. Uh, she was invited and she has been learning so many things that have been making me feel better that she's been going to these things. So what I want to do is I want her to demonstrate these uh, on me in front of you to give you a sense of awareness that you can do these things and um, to seek out professionals who can actually go into depth and teach you these things. That way you can have somebody point out the, the flaws or point out um, or give you the confidence that, because you know a teacher is going to give that to you when you're up, up um, in front of them. So let me ask you, did you feel that you could do this before you went? No. Okay. And then how did you feel after the first time that you went to this thing? Even after the first lesson, okay, the very first thing that they showed us, uh, we felt very empowered. Like, I did not realize that my body could do the things that they showed us. And they were showing you really simple things. Very simple things to get yourself out of a pickle quickly. You know, so you can. Get All right, so out let's of the talk. Way let's talk about those things. What was one of the, one of the first things that they wanted you to know about, um, about being a woman and getting yourself in a situation that causes you to feel like you got to defend yourself. Okay, well, ninety percent of those situations, you're taking a hundred percent. Ninety of them can be. Um, they could be avoided. Avoided because it's sometimes just common sense. If you see an, an elevator open and there's a man in there and you feel uncomfortable, you don't get in the elevator. Right. That's just common sense. I can see where, I can see your point where that's, that's a place where something could happen. Yeah, and a lot of times in bars, you know, girls are in bars and sometimes they can get themselves into, you know, some difficult situations. And so, yeah, a lot of it is just about using, you know, using your head. So 90% of the fear and problems that you think you're going to encounter are all avoidable. Just don't go in places that you uh, shouldn't be. And just Have continue continuously, sure yeah, and go go with a friend if you're going somewhere by yourself. If you're going for a walk out of the park, invite somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, if you need some time alone, go somewhere where it's popular, where people are, there's, there's plenty of people on the trail because, you know, you're going to find that most people want to get away with something and they don't want to get caught. So they're going to look for people who are vulnerable. I would talk to the security police officers, like, how do you guys find the bad guys? And that's really the questions I was always asking them. And one of the things that they constantly said was human predators and animal predators behave exactly the same. If you look out at the field, look out in a, a, a bunch of buffalo, wild buffalo, who do like the wolves go after? They go after the babies, or they go after the ones who look weak. They're going after the weakest, because they want something that's not going to put up a fight. And yeah, so, it, that's exactly what they told us. Um, and that's what the officer what, told me. Yeah, he they says, said that they're not looking for a fight, they're looking for a victim. Yeah. And you know what, girls, we're not going to be victims. So, yeah, there's just a couple of little things that I learned to just quickly get out of a situation. Um, and you know, this was the police officer who was helping us was a, at least your height. And he was like, really, you know, a big, huge dude. And I thought, my gosh, if this man was coming at me, wow, what would I do? And, and so, yeah, they definitely give you some really great pointers. Well, you don't want to look weak. Now, looking weak is actually, you know, walking with your head down all the time and like, you know, you're constantly not like, you're not, he said walk straight, walk, walk with your, your chest, your head up, proud, your head up and, and walk straight. Because if you look like you're paying attention, 
then you're diminut you're cutting down the chances of somebody actually saying that's a weak looking person yeah. because they because you're looking for and you're paying attention to like your surroundings. Mm -hmm. And so if you just walk up straight and you make eye contact with people and you're looking at somebody and you're saying I see you and then you're you're going to diminish um, a lot of your problems. Mm -hmm. Let's do at least three things that way people can like like uh, absorb it, and uh, we'll break it down for from that. So, what would you, what have you learned that you want to share? Um. Okay. So let's just say we're in a bar. Okay. This guy is doing this, and you know, you just listen. I asked you not to come near me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I asked you not to come near me. So one of the tricks was you grab their first two fingers and then they're probably thinking, oh, isn't that nice? She's grabbing my first two fingers. But uh, no, it's not nice. You grab their first two fingers and you... I'll and, you grab, and you grip tight. You grip tight their first two fingers. Then you're going to roll yourself out of it. And when you do, you're going to hold and grab the other two fingers and you bring up his arm. See your face automatically? You bring, you bend this wrist down and you want to bring up this arm as high as you like can. And then you push away. All right, so go, go ahead and push. I'm not trying to resist it. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. And they said also that if I really wanted to, I could split his... I won't though. Nice. She needs me to fix stuff around the house. Yeah. We're so, do that. <laughs> so when so, so let's do it again. Tr I tried that on a very big person. No, and I it, really and it did. Worked. I really tried to push and resist. It hurts. Because um, you're that. walking them. And if somebody is drunk and they're doing something it's where dumb. they're they're, <laughs> they're they're dumb. they're dumb and they're gonna be like uh, done. against it, done then done. all you gotta do is just stay stay calm. That'll That'll take care of half of the problems. Mm. Just be calm. Do grab those first two fingers with your. Did you grab with your left or your right? Well, it depends which side. Right, so, you know, so if, if you're, you're like this. Yeah. So reach over and grab it. And opposite. then you just spin. And so she's and got quickly that. Quickly grab, and it's a very quick motion. You know, you're gonna pull down and push, pull, push. Yeah. And so just. The and harder get the you, the harder you get away grip, from me. the harder you grip something, the easier it will be to force it. Because if your yeah. hands are loose, your hand, your your other parts of your body are gonna try to work harder to do that. So that's very good, and it's very useful to other people. So. Yeah. So what else have you learned? Well. So then they did another one that, okay, so somebody comes at you full force this way, and so you would take my wrists, okay? And, and this is a frightening place to be because even in reality, you are bigger than me. You're, t you're taller than me. <laughs> it's a good thing I love you. All right. But anyway, so yeah, and a lot of times what we do is we have our fists, you know, um, tight like this. But no, they said open your hands because when you open your hands, your wrists actually expand, which is going to give you a smidge more room inside your um, inside his grip, you know. But you want to put your foot back and get your stance so he doesn't push you back. So my right foot is back and giving me a little bit of edge so I can actually go forward. But what you do is, in slow motion, we'll just go, you're going to pull down, and when you do, you're going to twist like you're opening cans, you know, or jars. Right. You want to twist out of that. All right, so let me grab your wrist. I'm going to squeeze pretty good so that I feel like I got you. You're all right. off all my air. My all right. <laughs> okay. But okay. Now, I could squeeze, like, really, really hard, but I'm not going to do that. But this, I'm going to hold on good enough so that you have to... Force them out. Force. So go ahead and force them out. Okay, so no, I told you to let me go. I'm I told you to go. let me go. That's amazing. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, because yeah. when you're oh, yeah. when you're gripping, oh, yeah. you only have this little space. You want to go towards the thumb. Right. Because so you've got four fingers here, one thumb. It's easier to get out of one thumb than it is four fingers. So when you're grabbing, you want to... <coughs> and, and you want towards to the thumbs. Yeah. And so when you do expand, that... Expand. You've got your footing. You expand. And now you're going to go towards the thumbs. And you twist. And now down. I can already feel that like I'm losing all my... like Grip. All my like uh, leverage. And then another... another. It. Stay right there. <laughs> Another one that they said was even if you get to this point like this, you grab their shirt and you pull and you knee them right where it held. And you do not hold back. You, you don't hold you back. Do not it's hold as if back. it's as if your child, you know, they're coming after your child. That, that what won't you do? Taken. You, that, that's you're how gonna, you gotta respond. Gonna, you have to feel this for you, and it's just this extremely quick motion. And you just do it and done. You just have to take control and dominate so the, the threat. Right. Alright, so then there's one that I know from my my previous um, karate class, and that's where I'll I'll show you to you and then you do you it to me. Yeah, I'm gonna karate you, but I'm not gonna do anything. So when somebody comes up and they grab like your shirt and they've got you by the shirt or they want to pull you somewhere and they're dragging you, they're dragging you somewhere, so uh, go ahead and grab my shirt, either either hand. Whatever hand they're using, go to the opposite, use the opposite hand. And then you want to reach around their hand and take your fingers and then get it inside, get it around to where their pinky is. So as soon as you get inside. Then you want to put your thumb in between her thumb and her finger, and then you want to twist. Twist. And then as you do that, make the pinky point towards her nose. So then you, and then you. That sounds really complicated. Well, you what You'd you want to do? do what you want? You want to just like pull, and then point it. Ah, yeah. I feel that right there, boy. Wow. Because what you're doing. That's going to stop you. Because if they're holding on, all you're doing. I didn't learn that. All you're doing is twisting. And you yeah. don't even have to get it perfectly straight. Yeah. If they have it, like, turn, and then they stop, and then you twist. Yeah. You start to feel it. Yeah. Right? So as soon as you grab it, you can twist. You can twist their arm, and then you oh. can pull the wrist down. Yeah, plus your hand is and right plus on your this elbow. is right here, yeah. so you can just do that. I liked the one where they So had... let's try this. Oh, let's let's try, try this. So opposite hand. So my o hand. Opposite hand. Yeah. Then you want to go and you want to put your thumb. Oh, thumb in between thumb. here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, then, and then what you want to do is turn your whole body. Turn my whole body. So, no, no, and you want to turn the whole body, but you want to turn your body so that you can get... Uh, my wrist out of there and then what you want to do put both hands here and then 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 point my hand back towards me and oh then, and I that, see. Is, that hurts I don't have power over that so when you do and that then I kick you but a lot of, <laughs> you know a lot of times they'll kick first and then do that yeah because yeah. that will distract them and then they'll get well you know that so let's do it again so I got this right here and then you go ahead with that hand. I'm going to take your hand, your pinky. Yep. And, and that hurts. Twist. Twist. Ah, yes. Oh. Like that. But, you know, try try to stay perfectly still. Sorry. Like, try to stay <laughs> in, like, the same motion. And yeah. then twist. Oh, golly. Like that. that really, are you paying back? What is that? And then so, do yeah. turn, twist. Turn, and twist. Then, okay. So those are good. Those, that's really a good one too. Um, like I liked the ones like you know like sometimes they come from behind and they grab you from behind. Go ahead, grab them from behind. So um, or well, no, not like that's a different one. I'd have to. That goes more deep. Like somebody grabs you from under, like this. They're trying to you know grab you. What they're saying is you know when you pick up a child and they don't want to go with you and they drop their weight and it's harder to pick them up. So they said to get your base, you know, drop your weight. And, and what, I, I have no 
I have if she were to fall forward and grab onto me, I would go forward. Right. But but I I've got my to. I've got my footing, so I'm just gonna drop my weight. I am gonna stick my hand out like this, turn my head and full force oh, come back would, and that aim would be, for his that nose. That would be very, very effective. You drop and your weight, you put your hand out because that's giving you, you're going to get your motion to do this. You turn your head and you just that, and with the other hand, wham, right in the okay. wrong, <laughs> right in the wrong area. <laughs> so ta-da! That's a few little pointers. There's so many more. I would encourage you to take a class, honestly. What was the class at the age of? Um, it was called RAD. RAD. And you said that this is nationwide? It's nationwide. Rad is nationwide. I'm going to put it on my Widow's Wednesday. Okay. Um, so we're we'll, going to have... We'll, we'll try and find a link for that and yeah, we'll leave I'll it in the description link. below so you can sign up for that. Bring a friend. Yeah, you can call you your can local go, police department too. Or you can call your local police department. Yeah. So we'll leave a link in the description below. So go ahead and click on that link so you can get... Uh, more information about Rad and... Stay safe, girls. Stay, stay safe. stay safe. All right. Thanks okay. for watching this video. Like and subscribe. Also, uh, go to my mom's channel. You can go ahead and subscribe to her too. And uh, you can... Uh, it's Widow's Wednesday. It's Widow's Wednesday. It's Empowering Widows. And yes. I will see you on the next video.